10 signs you have entered the friend zone for many it is not hard to tell whether someone likes them or not but what of those sad souls that just don't know some people spend weeks months scary enough even years in the friend zone the friend zone is not at all gender specific both men and women waste time on people that are just not that into them for those of us that have experienced the friend zone it is not a pleasant experience sadly many people who are labeled as such are usually good guys or good girls these good people think that the person they are crushing on is just perfect they fantasize about this person and will do anything for them unfortunately many of these friends just get used by that person they are head over heels for here are 10 signs that you my friend have been friend zoned one you only hear from the person you're trying to pursue when they need something hearing from the person you like only when they need something means they probably don't see you the way you see them for example example they may speak to you when they are having relationship problems or need an annoying and inconvenient favor to when you text them late at night but they're either busy or getting ready to go to sleep if it's night time and your crush never makes time for you you probably are just a friend to them they may say things like i have a lot of homework i have to be up early or they may not reply at all but really they either aren't doing anything or they're planning on doing something with someone else when someone is really into you they will make time for you whenever they can and if by some chance they miss your text or call they will come up with a good excuse as to why and attempt to pursue a conversation three you have never gone on a date together and no it doesn't count you going out to eat with that person and gang of others. If you have never gone on a one-on-one -on -one cliche date with this person or when you do go out they are always inviting other friends then you are probably not someone they think of as a potential partner. 4. They are always talking about people they find attractive around you. If your crush is constantly checking out other people or they are always talking about someone they find attractive then you should get a new crush. This person probably knows you find them attractive, but they bring up other people so that you may back off a bit because they might not want to hurt your feelings or ruin the friendship. 5. They may try to set you up with one of their friends or anyone that just isn't them. If your crush is constantly trying to hook you up with their friends that are probably single for a very good reason, you are just a friend to them. You are not their type. You're really a great person booth just not for them. 6. They don't aim to look attractive in front of you. If this person greets you with that just rolled out of bed look all the time but looks like Channing Tatum or Beyonce for someone else you should probably set your sights elsewhere. 7. They ignore your obvious advances. If your compliments are going ignored and your advances to try to make it from first base have constantly ended in strikeouts, that person probably isn't interested in you. 8. They may refer to you as a brother or sister. This is probably the most self-explanatory sign. Not many people want to be with their brother or sister. They've pretty much just said I love you, but I will never fall in love with you. 9. Most of your conversations take place within text messages. For many, when they like someone they will start off texting to phone calls, and to more intense face-to-face -face conversations. If your conversations are mostly in texts and this person hasn't really wanted to know normal relationship type questions about you then this person probably isn't into you. 10. When they introduce you, they introduce you as, this is my friend. Need I say more? When a crush says this they've just said it for you. You're just a friend. So what should you do? You should begin to distance yourself from this person. 9 times out of 10 this person is just using you to do the things that others want for them. You should look for someone that will appreciate the things you do for them and show you genuine affection in return. However, if by some chance you are that 1 out of 10 and the person you like is truly oblivious to your feelings for them, if you think they are someone worth fighting for you should express your feelings. If that person happens to like you well then begin working on the next steps of your potential relationship. But, if that person doesn't like you then just leave them alone and stop wasting your valuable time. No one deserves to be a door.